So good morning guys, um, this is from inside a bubble. So utilising the Lauer 24mm probe macro lens, which is a interesting piece of equipment but it's rather unique. That's actually looking up a straw which I was blowing down to make the bubbles. Um, fixing the bubbles to the end of the, into the lens was actually quite difficult. Um, but uh, I finally got it and I actually worked out that if I actually make the lens wet with the uh, solution actually it, it made it sort of usable as you can see the, the bubbles do pop um, interesting though it sort of rains inside a bubble never seen that before obviously never seen inside a bubble <laughs> but um, actually you can see the vapour uh, falling um, which is quite interesting and uh, as you'll see through the video it changes quite a bit so I'm um, doing different things constantly adding new bubbles a second bubble into another bubble so, so you end up with um, all that sort of stuff but you can see the vapour there um, sort of floating about and eventually once the bu bubble settles um, you'll see it kind of falling but the colours are awesome um, you can see the like you see the patterns there um, that's, that's the kind of rain effect it kind of gives um, it's all falling down um, you end up with a pool of liquid at the bottom of the bubble and eventually it pops um, there's more bubbles being added um, the lighting you can see is actually the end of the lens the lens has got um, some LED lighting which is brilliant because obviously I'm lighting inside the bubble rather than through it um, so it just adds a different look again to what uh, might be possible but I might try this again um, I've never seen this done before so hopefully it's a bit of a unique thing but you can see there the colors of the LEDs are reflecting the way it's working uh, this is 2 to 1 macro most of the time or 1.5 uh, uh, one, uh, yeah 1.5 uh, macro depending on uh, what I, how big the bubble was I was adjusting it every now and again just to try and keep as much in focus as possible and uh, it's just interesting I thought it's just something that I've never seen before and uh, random thought last night um, so yeah it's uh, definitely different and uh, quite challenging just to keep the bubbles uh, not popping and making a solution um, so to make a, a bubble solution I found that uh, equal amounts of uh, sugar and um, washing up liquid you know soap or whatever um, and then I think it was about three times more water so um, warm water as well to dissolve the sugar into it and then just leave it for a couple of hours and then utilize it and I've left it overnight and tried it again this morning because last night it wasn't happening very very easily um, but this morning it's much better. It's obviously obviously dissolved together and become a, a better chemical chemicalized sort of liquid. Um, this is inside a multiple set of bubbles. Um, not as sharp as I'd like, but at the end of the day, uh, my shutter speed was probably too slow, if anything. Um, and obviously the bubble is constantly moving. So uh, as you can see there, isn't that's me adjusting the focus? That's why the camera's moving around a little bit. But it is a weird, weird thing. <laughs> um, but as you can see there, the way adding extra bubbles into to try and get one big bubble, the weight was falling off. So what I might do is actually next time is set the the lens vertical, um, so to sit the bubble on top, and then mess around with it that way. Um, we shall see. But as you can see there, all the different bubbles I'm adding extra ones all the time. Uh, it's just the patterns. It's amazing. It's almost remember the old lava lamps. It's kind of a bit like that. Um, but there comes the rain. That's a, it's probably not rain, but you know what I mean. Um, weather inside a bubble kind of strange but all the patterns you get are different all the time it's very interesting um, the distortion anything like that it's just a different different thing there you go so I've got quite a bit of pattern work there it's quite cool it's just I don't know a bit different um, there we go so, um, any comments write down below and uh, any questions of how I may have done this or any other things. I mean, this is shot with the A7R4 Sony. Um, obviously, the Lauer um, 24mm probe macro lens, which is a unique piece of equipment. Um, not cheap either. It's it's very specialist, but it's quite affordable at the same time. It's not ridiculous money, um, but it's fully manual, so you have to learn how to um, get the best from this thing, and it's not easy. I'm, I'm I ha I've had it a year and. Um, I haven't really used it that much, but now I'm starting to use it more. I'm becoming a little bit more sort of uh, confident with it. Um, so shooting things like ants and and spiders and things like that, 
the other day with it um i was starting to get a better better images from it because uh, because obviously it is manual focus um and a lot of the time i was hand holding it uh, any small movement from me or the animal moving um it was out of focus again so and you're so close to it especially if you're at two to one which i never managed to get with the uh, the jumping spider uh, i think 1.5 um, was the best I got. Um, it makes a huge, huge difference. So uh, this shutter speed here was just a, a slow shutter speed, one twenty-fifth of a second, um, just to give it a bit of movement there, just a bit of interest, uh, just a slight change. Um, and then I'll crank it up to one, was it one, one sixtieth of a second. Um, but as I say it's still not quite fast enough. I need um, need to uh, up the ISO a little bit more, and then crank the uh, shutter speed up a bit faster, just to get sharper images. But I just thought I'd show everyone a slightly different look. Um, Video-wise, absolutely looks quite cool. But as you can see there, the patterns, random patterns. It's almost like ink and, and paint. It's bizarre stuff. Um, and yeah, strange, strange stuff. It's uh, just interesting to watch like this. You can see it's almost like a film. Well, it is a film. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, bizarre looking at reflections after reflections after reflections in multiple bubbles um, but then you can obviously see the multiple colours um, and uh, it's just bizarre those LEDs just add a bit of interest I think to it um, you get the random bokeh of the reflection of the other side of the blue, uh, blue the bubble um, and then you get stuff like this where it's just almost like an eye um, really really bizarre but uh, yeah guys, um, don't forget to subscribe or click the notification bell, that would be great um, if you want to see some more stuff like this and I want to try and mess around a little bit more and be a bit more inventive with this uh, lens because uh, it's certainly unique and there's things you can do with it that you can't do with any other lens or whatever on the, in, you know, on the planet basically um, because it is waterproof as well so you can submerge it in liquid um, stuff like that so for last year I managed to capture a couple of tadpoles in a pond, that was quite cool um, just stuck it in the water and tab holes and I think this is really cool this is what I was really impressed with so that's a bubble and there's more bubbles behind it but you can see all this it's like ink but it's obviously it's soap <laughs> bizarre stuff really bizarre stuff and there's me blowing more in there um, but it's strange strange stuff so I'm going to be messing around with this um, today I think and do some more so you might see a second video of um, some better quality uh, imagery but this this I kind of cracked it quite well here with the actual video got it relatively in focus um, so quite pleased with that and uh, I just thought I'd show you some outside view so this is me blowing the bubbles onto the end of the lens so there's more than you know sometimes two sometimes three uh, bubbles on the front and I was shooting straight through um, stuff like that so just interest really um, keeps us busy keeps us with uh, new ideas and uh, just a bit of fun and just keeping positive with everything in life um, but uh, and also the weather's not all that amazing today that's my soap solution there I've made and uh, I didn't use I mean I've hardly I've done probably a couple of hundred bubbles and it's hardly even used any so it's quite easy to make it doesn't cost much obviously a little bit of sugar a little bit of water and a little bit of soap it's all good and uh, obviously you can just uh, pour it away or use it to wash up the dishes if you want as well so anyway guys I shall see you soon and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video